on the Chinese continent about 5,000 years ago when the old gods still dwelled in this island. It suddenly appeared, as if it were seeping out from the earth out of nowhere, like a shadow emerging from the depths of hell. It went on to slaughter without reason, without remorse, without rest. It killed people, beasts, demons, and gods alike. Eventually, its eyes were stained black by the blood of its victims. Its name was Wu Hei, the first ever Wu, the first of its kind. This being became the origin of the Wu clan, a clan of assassins, which was divided into three groups around 1300 years ago. The modern Wu clan, which remained in China, the Kuri clan, which migrated to Japan, and the dreaded Westward faction, which migrated to the western areas of the world. The Westward faction is led by Edward Wu, the most powerful combatant of the Westward faction. The Westward faction utilized Wei Sheng to its full extent and was the only clan to still practice the oral tradition by harboring the original Wu. Wu Hei has lived within them for 5,000 years, thus cloning Wu Hei into several copies of himself. However, Wei Sheng does not have the property to transfer one's powers and abilities, but only the origin's memories, which is why other members of the Westward Faction are called Spares. The known Westward Faction members where Wu Hei dwelled are Alan Wu, the King of Slaughter, was an assassin from the Westward Faction of the Wu Clan. He was one of the 13 representative fighters for Purgatory and an infiltrator of the Worm, the combatant that was brutally slaughtered by the demon Ryan Kure. Even at 100% Gihon release rate, Fabio Wu, the King of Brutality, one of the faction members who served as spares for Wu Hei's personality. He was no match against Ryan, even with the help of Solomon Wu. Solomon was later savagely eliminated by the mighty demon, Ario Kure, failing to avenge his brother's death at the hands of the latter. Fabio's Yi Hun release rate is at 100%. Solomon Wu, the fist-breaking king, also, one of the faction members serving as a spear for Wu Hei, he was no match against Ryan's indomitable strength and was eventually decapitated by Aerio as he was careless enough to deactivate his Yi Han. Before we continue, consider subscribing and share your thoughts by commenting below. And finally, Edward Wu, the King of Hades the leader of the westward faction of the Wu clan and an affiliate of the Worm and the most powerful among the combatants of the faction. Edward had a blood feud with the Kuri clan. This combatant was able to overpower three powerhouses of both Wu clan and Kuri clan even at his normal state. His durability was able to shrug off devastating blows from the most powerful combatants in the series and was also able to utilize Yi Hun to prevent a fatal knife attack to his neck from penetrating and lacerating his jugular vein. Along with his durability is his uncanny flexibility, which allowed him to block attacks from both the front and the rear simultaneously. His power and strength is undeniably terrifying as he was able to propel his opponents away with single strikes. His Yi Hun is also at 100% release rate, which increased his devastating force even further and gave him godlike speed that he was able to strike three opponents at almost the same time. The Westward Faction's Wu Clan Ultimate Technique, the Mount Tai North Star Eightfold Demolition Fist, an ultimate attack which utilizes the user's superhuman speed and abominable strength with every blow. This technique begins with an outward to inward circular movement of the arms, similar to a yin-yang symbol. The user then shoots himself to the opponent, 
hurling himself with lightning speed as the user unleashes death-dealing blows which consists of eight successive fatal strikes to the upper body leaving the opponent blood-soaked and lifeless however this ultimate attack wasn't enough to destroy Ariel's successor as Ryan was able to outmatch Edward's power and durability giving him the fatality instead proving that Ryan had surpassed Ariel's overall strength, durability, stamina and speed in his prime and Ariel Gure, the patriarch of the Kure clan who was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Edward Wu at his age, succumbs to his fatal injuries and passes away, with Ryan, who might be able to replace him as the Patriarch. Nevertheless, now that the leader of the Westward Faction is no more, bringing peace to Wu Xing and ending Wu Hei's spirit along with the eliminated members of the Westward Faction, but with one peculiar Westward Faction member left, to possess the last Wu Hei spirit, Edward's death will spark a total full head-on war between the Kuri clan, Wu clan, and the Westward faction. This will be the beginning of a battle between the most powerful clans in history. Now, how powerful is the real Nico? Where did he go? Is he more powerful than Edward Wu? While it took three most powerful combatants and two elite fighters to bring him down, will Oma be able to fight the real Nico head on? Where is Ryuki and what will happen to him now that he's found God? What is Kiryu's role in all of this? While Hayami Katsumasa, who rejoiced Ario's death, met his end by the hands of Hayami Masaki. Whatever may happen, I hope that it will be an unbridled bloodbath. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And to all of you who supports my channel, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.